dear all welcome back to our oil pump tutorials this is the third video at the previous videos we have some introduction at the first one and the second we built our uh, began to build our body we stopped here we'll hit save not to save our work and we'll continue building our body let's go to drawings uh, we have uh, two cylinders in order to have our to connect our pipes to the end of this body or pump the first one we have it here on dimension from the end to 20 and we'll have a thread of half an inch from both sides let's begin I'll take this side and click a sketch draw a circle somewhere I'll be sure that it's vertically with this one and I'll take it down the distance from the top the center of the circle is 25 and we'll have it here okay and as I said the diameter of this circle I'll give it three quarter of an inch and I'll write inch finish finish sketch I'll extrude it to distance of 20 here okay sorry I'll di distance of 20 click OK I have a chamfer here at 1 millimeter at the edge of my cylinder sorry okay and I'll go for threads I don't need it a full thing for length I need it 17 millimeters as we can see from the drawing we have 17 millimeters of a thread here I'll give it 17 and I'll pick the face this face I'll go to specification and I'll choose my isometric pipe thread isometric pipe thread and it will take a dimension of 20 point something or half an inch class A I'll hit OK so this is my first thread I'll, book to I'll go back to the other side the same way draw a circle or two circles I have to draw here one and the other one OK I'll make sure that the, these are concentric one and two we have it here and we'll arrange them horizontally with the center point they are not going to the right as you can see I'll take them down and make the distance from here to here 25 millimeters and I'll give dimension this one will be as that one 3.3 quarter of an inch and this one is 22 I think here yeah? this one is 22 22 finish sketch now we'll go to our drawing back and see what we have uh, the 22 cylinder is going from 26 20 to 6 millimeters 26 minus 20 okay I'll extrude both of them to 6 millimeters okay click OK I'll share the sketch 
share and extrude the small one to 26 millimeters click OK right click at the sketch and take the visibility out chamfer one millimeter is OK go back to threads again 17 millimeters this face pipe thread iso pipe thread iso pipe threads and we'll have the same click OK just dig some holes here okay let's see what we have first hole we have 513 at 43 deep concentric okay on this side the other side we have uh, 513 counter bore 516 23 from the inside okay let's begin from the inside this one yes I'll go back here click sketch I'll project one of the circles one of the cylinders sorry in order to have my center point finish and go to thread counter bore simple uh, through all and I'll see my dimensions again we have 513 counter bore 16 or 23 deep and 16 23 deep with how much 13 through 13 okay we'll take this center And here we have our thread as we uh, sorry our hole okay click OK just dig the other hole the other hole is 513 23 deep okay go back okay and we have hole again concentric simple distance okay we have 13 yes and we don't we have a distance of 43 we can use another approach of course if we uh, measure the distance from here to the from here to inside we have a 23 but I can use other approach I'll, I'll make it two concentric of course this is my face sorry plane this is my plane and this is my concentric plane and he's waiting for two if I click here this face it will dig to this face and click OK measure from this face to here this face it's a 43 you can use either the distance or you can use two we'll hit save save we have more holes to dig we have counter bore 2010 10 through so I'll go back here I'll take my counter bore 20 10 and 10 it's through all it's concentric again I'll take this face and I'll take the edge or the face it's the same to concentric as a concentric reference and click apply again this one 
with this edge and click apply other holes we have two holes here 514 and a deep with a flat end okay I'll go to simple flat and okay distance flat end again we have how much 14 and 8 deep we have 14 and 8 it's concentric again with this one I'll pick the face first I use my shift my, with my wheel to make an orbit this face is concentric with this face apply again this face shift with my wheel concentric with this face click apply what else we have 14 holes M5 for our screws in order to do so I'll cancel this hit save first don't forget to hit save frequently I'll take this face and make a sketch project geometry offset the diameter PCD of these are 48 I'll take a 48 as a dimension 48 I'll put two points as a reference to my this is my point first one the other, the other point will be here I'll try to take it out it's not moving this one it's not moving this one is at the end of the the circle and this one at the middle I'll hit finish I'll go back to my holes I need a threaded hole with isometric profile with M5 I'll go for 5 okay distance uh, how much the distance here we'll see so 14 holes M5 6 edge and the distance will be shown here for 13 okay I'll go back but I need one of them I don't need the other so I'll click centers again with control and take this out centers again I need only this one now and 13 we have 13 with the normal and click OK I'll share the sketch and take the other one and you'll see why after a while wait a minute share a sketch again hole and it'll take it and we have our all specification click OK so I make two holes here okay so what we have let us see we have one two three four five six here and six on the other side uh, so we'll use our circular pattern for this hole and it will be rotated about around this one six pieces one eight zero degrees you can see them from here and flip direction this is my six pieces click OK I'll mirror first this hole let us mirror the other hole mirror plane again I'll use my origins that's why I centered everything this is the plane click OK again mirror my whole circular and mirror plane the other plane now we'll use 
and I click OK. To the sketch, right click and take the visibility out. Save. Let us give some material. Steel S, and we will go for steel. Uh, I don't like this one. I'll give it an appearance as. Uh, let us see what we have here. Zinc chromite. Save. Our working faces are the thread chamfer this extrusion and we'll give it as a steel polished the hole this extrusion where is it let us see what we have here this extrusion with chamfer with thread with all holes And we'll give them as polished. And we'll have here the last thing. We'll have this one as polished. Okay. And we'll save. This way we come to end of our part. See you in the next videos.